Hello, painting peeps, and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cause Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone, guys. I'm happy you're here. I'm happy to be here always. I wanted to start this off a little bit different. Um, a lot of people ask me, probably two or three times I get comments on each and every video, Kathleen, what's your setup? What do you paint on? What is that thing underneath your canvas. What's supporting your canvas? Well, I'm going to show you. This right here is a washing machine tray. You can buy them at Lowe's, Home Depot, pretty much any hardware store. It's a large tray that you generally put your washing machine on top of in case that it leaks and whatnot. It's about uh, three and a half inches deep. Now, I paint and put my canvas on several different things. I use Sweet Molly from Molly's Artistry. I use her little legs if I'm not going to be moving my canvas around a lot. Um, but I also use these uh, dowels. They're actually not dowels. They're square. Um, it's a very long piece of trim wood. It's covered with a lot of paint right now, but um, Rick cuts them to size that they overhang the washing machine tray a little bit. Um, that way they don't have the opportunity to slide around and whatnot. Now to my right or to your left is another washing machine tray. So if I don't want to move my art and it's totally level, I can just move over to uh, my second workstation, but this is where I have and keep all of my paints that I'm going to utilize. So they're kind of out of the way. So there you have it. Um, that's my setup. I paint in our garage here on Hilton Head Island. Um, it's relatively warm here, but it has been a cold winter. We uh, have a massive garage that you can literally put two boats and eight cars in. And I took up the back half of the garage because there's a door out the back to my lovely patio where I go and relax when the weather is good. But um, I have a split air conditioning unit in here, which is also a heater. So it's very, very comfortable. I'm very grateful and I'm very happy. So there's a video a ways back called uh, Let Me Introduce My Let Me Introduce Myself to You. And there is also one that gives you a little tour of my studio. So um, I hope that helps, guys. Let's go ahead and talk about what we're doing today. Hello, painting peeps, and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cos Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone, guys. I'm happy you're here. I'm happy I'm here. We're going to be painting with some pretty colors today. I walked around my yard fiddling with my rose bushes, and we're down south, so um, roses are in bloom, azaleas are bloom, hydrangeas are getting ready to bloom, and a lot of really cool perennials are popping their sweet little heads out of the ground. So I was, in I was inspired by the colors in my yard today, so I'm really excited about this poor but before I get started, um, you all just touch my heart. My painting peeps are oh, just make me smile. And I got these in the mail the other day. It says, chilling with my peeps. <laughs> and now I call you all painting peeps. And it came with such a sweet little note. It says, hi, Kathleen. Saw these and thought of you doesn't say painting, but it still says your peeps. With a smile, John H. John, you make me smile big. These will keep my tootsies uh, nice and warm, and whenever I put them on, I will smile and think of you. John, thank you so very much. Let's talk about our colors today. Our base coat is white, and gosh, guys, I am so sorry, but I had three mixed up white paints, and I don't know if this is my house paint. I don't know if my it's my artist loft paint. I smelled it to try to figure it out, so we're using some white paint today, and I, I am so sorry. I don't know what white paint it is. 
I'm thinking is probably Artist Loft White. Our pouring medium today, I am out of my GAC 800. Whoops, I'm out of my GAC 800, so our pouring medium today is Floetrol and Liquitex pouring medium. We are one part paint, one part Liquitex, and just a couple of squirts of Floetrol and water to consistency. Now I want to talk about that just a little bit. I am using all Arteza paints today with the exception of my Deco Art Satin Enamel, which is in this cup mixed one part Deco Art Satin Enamel and one part Artist Loft White with my pouring medium Liquitex gloss pouring medium and Floetrol. All of my other paints are Arteza paints. They're all from the Pearl line. And each of these took different amounts of water to get them to the consistency that I wanted them. So don't assume that all your golden fluids get the same amount of water. All your deco art paints get the same amount of water. It depends on the paint. Every single paint has a different paint density. This in particular, this pearl marmalade, it took twice as much water as my pearl pistachio. And I'm sorry, this is the pearl pistachio. This color right here, which is Arteza Lime Green, that took even more water to get it to the right consistency. So different paints have different consistency, even if they're the same brand, even if they're the same type of paint. So pay attention to that, guys. Let's talk about these colors. In this yummy cup right here, we have Arteza Pearl pistachio green and this is heavenly guys i really love these arteza paints i love this pearl line this yummy cup right here is also just some yummy yummy goodness that is arteza pearl sea green this right here oh just a beautiful, you know, I love my golden fluids and I love my golden fluids copper, but this paint right here is a second, a close second to it. That is Arteza and that is the Pearl Marmalade. This yummy color right here is also, oh, it just, Sparkles, guys. This is Art Alchemy. Too darn small out, Alchemy, your paints. And this is their Sparks Mermaid Sparkle. All the paints, guys, are listed in the description box. You just click on that little arrow. I think it's on this side. <laughs> and all the information, my pouring medium, the paints that I use, and anything else important that we need to talk about is in that description box, including how to contact me if you have any questions, guys. Might take me a day or two to answer you, but I promise I will always, always answer. This yummy color right here. What the heck is this color? Did I already put that aside? That is the Pearl Sea Green by Arteza. Sorry about that, guys. I got a little mixed up there. This right here is our Deco Art Satin Enamel mixed with our Artist Loft White. And this yummy goodness right here is a fun color. Look at that. Isn't that just as sweet as can be? Nice spring colors. That is Arteza Pearl Lime Green. So we're getting our pastel-y, fun, springy kind of things going on. Reuse canvas. I love this pour. But the base coat color to me did not complement the colors that I poured on top and a little bit too much negative space, not a, enough interest, but it did pearl up really, really, really nicely. I'm going to go ahead and paint over this. I'm going to put some tunes on for you, put some tunes on for me, and we're going to get busy, guys. Glad you're here.
Oh, oh, oh.